I do think there's a, a, good, a good framework for thinking it is physics, you know, the sort of first principles reasoning. Um, what, what I mean by that is uh, boil things down to the, the, their fundamental truths and reason up from there, as opposed to reasoning by analogy. Um, through most of our life, we, we, we get through life by reasoning by analogy, which essentially means kind of copying what other people do with slight variations. Um, and you have to do that, Other, otherwise it's, it's mentally you wouldn't be able to get through the day. Um, but when you, when you want to do something new, you, you, have, to, you have to apply the, 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 the physics approach. Um, Give me but, an example of that. Like, what's one thing that you've, you've done that on that you feel has worked for you? Sure. So um, somebody could say, um, in fact, people do, uh, that factory packs are really expensive, and that's just the way they'll always be, because that's the way they've been in the past. Um, you're like, well, no, that's, that's pretty dumb. And you say, no, OK, well, what, what, are, what are the batteries made of? So the so first principle is we say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? Mm -hmm. What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation, and a seal can. So break that down in, or, on a material basis and say, okay, what, if we bought that in the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? Like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell, and you can have batteries that are much, much cheaper than anyone realizes. Rockets were super expensive, and the cost, cost per pound or kilogram to orbit had actually gone up over the years, not down. So um, after my second or third trip back from Russia, I was like, whoa. There's got to be a way to build rockets. Um, there's got to be a way to, to solve the, this, this rocket problem. Um, I started reading a lot of books on rockets and did a sort of a first principles analysis of, of a rocket, just broke down the materials that are in a rocket, what would it cost to buy those materials, what versus the price of the rocket. And there's a gigantic difference between the um, raw material cost of the rocket and the finished cost of the rocket. So there must be something um, wrong happening in in going from the constituent at atoms to the final shape. Um, and, and I found that certainly to be true. And then, um, you know, just in general, critical thinking is, is good. You know, examining whether you, you have the correct axioms, are the most applicable axioms, uh, does the logic necessarily connect, um, and then what are, the, what are the range of probable outcomes? Um, outcomes are usually not deterministic, they're, mm. they're, they're a range. Mm. Um, and so you want to figure out what those prob probabilities are and make sure, ideally, that you are the house. <laughs> you know, it's, it's fine to take, it's fine to, it's fine to gamble as so long as you're the house. <laughs>